Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I want to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Microsoft Precision Mouse. Now, this retails for a little under 100 US dollars, and it launched towards the end of 2017. And of course, this is Microsoft's top of the line when it comes to surface peripherals or companion products. It does recharge uh, with an included micro USB cable, so unlike other mice, uh, in fact most mice from Microsoft, this does have an internal rechargeable battery. As you can see right there, we've got a forward and back button. This is Bluetooth 4.0, much like uh, the balance of Microsoft's peripherals that they launched alongside uh, Surface products at the same time. And basically what you're going to get here is what I would say is a best in class uh, mouse, but you know, is it expensive? Of course, most of you out there know that I'm a Logitech guy generally. Uh, almost all of my peripherals have and still are to the, I would say larger extent, uh, they still are Logitech. So this is gonna be a new outing for me. It's not the first time I've used a Microsoft mouse, uh, that's for sure, but it is the first time I'm dipping into their peripherals that are supposed to be companion products, as I keep saying, to the surface. So that seal didn't quite break even with that knife, but we've got it. Unboxes, um, unboxes, unboxings have never been my forte, but I still do them nonetheless. Uh, you're looking at, again, in my opinion, what is arguably one of the nicest mice on the market, uh, a clean design, um, minimalistic, industrial in a sense almost, and uh, you have the ability to change uh, the tactile feel of the scroll wheel right here. And then as I mentioned, forward and back buttons. Ergonomics, I mean, it seems to fit the hand fairly well. I would compare this to Logitech's MX line of mice, which are now in their second generation and are priced you know, considerably uh, the same almost, quite frankly. Um, if you go with an older gen, you can of course pick it up for about half of the price of this mouse, thereabout. We've got some paperwork in here. But in my opinion, for the price that Microsoft is asking for, for this, which again, at launch was 100, but now is considerably less. I think it's, you know, somewhere around 80, but I, I'm sure you can find it on sale for less. There's your micro USB for charging the mouse. It's just a good option, solid option. Now, of course, Microsoft will tell you up front that this is optimized for Surface products, but because it's Bluetooth 4.0, 4.0, you can use this with any computer that supports that. It should be visible and it should pair without issue. If you're an Apple user, a Mac user, you will need a separate uh, suite of software to program the buttons. That, however, is only uh, native to PC. After all, this is made by Microsoft, who also makes the OS, therefore, <laughs> no software for Apple, which is obvious why. Um, but outside of that, again, Nice mouse, uh, you know, it does have the ability also to pair with up to three different computers. So if you're looking for a multitasker, uh, one mouse that can control multiple computers, this isn't a new feature by any means. My Logitech, you know, Logitech mice have been doing this for years, but Microsoft was savvy enough to realize that's a must have feature on a premium or in general high end peripheral like this one. So again, I think the price is reasonable. I think the design is spot on for what you'd expect to match the entire surface uh, language in terms of their uh, design language is what I would say. You know, it's right in line with everything we see come out of there. I mean, it looks like a physical extension of a Surface book or uh, the Surface Studio. So nice mouse. I'll let you know how it performs. Again, it has been on the market uh, for a couple of years now, uh, roughly, but new to me. And uh, we'll see how it holds up. Again, this is my first, I think, Microsoft mouse that does actually have a built-in battery. So significant for that reason. Also, I mentioned that earlier, most of them, even the current generation, do rely on traditional batteries. And that pretty much sums things up. Again, this is the Microsoft, I'm going to call it Surface Precision Mouse, driven by Bluetooth, and of course has its own internal battery. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.